my first season here at the Hill. I guess how have been first um, a couple weeks of spring practice has gone so far from your position group specifically. They've been going pretty good. I think all seven of the backs have really put forth the effort to try to be better this year, even than last year. Um, we have a model trying to be the best in the nation in everything we do. And obviously we all know that the motto here is whatever it takes. So whatever it takes for us to be the best in the nation for whatever we do, we're trying to make sure we do that in all phases. I was wondering a few things that you're looking for, um, you know, kind of entering this third week of uh, spring practices. From what aspect? Um, just from your guys, just some uh, toughness, speed, agility, what are, what are a few things that... Well, the first thing I'd say, you know, that we're looking for, we're looking for people to be great student athletes in everything you do, right? So embrace and embody the culture, all right? So that means, like we just said, whatever it takes, that means in everything, in everything academics, right? Obviously, athletics as well. Um, from a running back standpoint, individuals that are taking care of the ball, protecting the quarterback at all times. I like individuals who play fast, right, know what to do. Um, great balance as far as we talk about the contact. Also individuals that have great um, great agility as far as the hips, being able to make individuals miss, catch the ball, all of that. We're trying to be great. With all those goals and core values, Coach, that you mentioned, how much have you seen that from the guys so far just early on in uh, spring practice? Uh, I think we're on the way. I think we have work to do, and we'll continue to work each and every day. Where do you feel like the team needs to work specifically on those aspects? Uh, I guess as far as we said, where do we need to work at? Right. I mean, I think you can work in every in every part of the game. You know, I don't think you can ever, um, and there's never a finish line, right? And when you get there, it's always what's next, right? We want to be better this year than we were last year. So every day, just try to be in competition with yourself. As long as you do that, everything else is irrelevant. I remember show as a kid that kind of popped on the scene out of nowhere last year, you know, walk on in the first game. Uh, you know, had a really solid performance. Um, you know, what have you seen from him off season and so far this spring? What are kind of the expectations from him moving forward? I think um, he definitely has that uh, quote unquote walk on mentality. So even though he's an individual who has now earned himself a scholarship, you know, he's he's not fooled. He's going to continue to be hungry. You know, and I believe it's him along with Jakari and a lot of those other guys that we have out there that are doing a great job. As long as they continue to put forth the effort, you know, keep God first, remain focused on everything that they need to, you know, and continue to be leaders on and off the field, I believe success will be inevitable for each and every one of them. You know, kind of sticking with Jakar, kind of the old guy in that room now, the guy that's been around here for a while, had to overcome some injuries early in his career. You know, what have you seen from him and how much does he mean to this group, you know, being that older guy? I think the biggest thing with him, he wants to be a complete back. You know, um, the wisdom, the things that he's been through, you know, I believe is really good for the room. I think he's a natural leader. Um, I think it's just all about timing. And right now is the time for him, you know, to continue to step up to the plate and play that role and continue to get better in everything he can do so we can go out there and win some ball games and even better years so we can all make sure we win in life. You know, with the offense that was run last year, obviously a lot of the attention goes on. You know, throwing the ball, catching the ball, so quarterback receivers get a lot of attention. You know, how do you see the running backs and, and your group working in with the offense now with you know, Coach Arbuckle? Shots. Um, at the end of the day, when I look at it, you know, a running back, being a complete back, that means in every aspect of the game, you're, you're making sure you're the best that you can possibly be. So it's not necessarily when you get the ball. Now, when we get the ball, we'll make sure that we do great things with it. But also, in order for the receivers to have a good day, in order for the quarterback to have a great day, that means that we have to do our job, make sure we have the pass protection piece. You know, so we'll continue to work on the pass protection piece because, you, as you guys know, if you want to go to the next level, you know, regardless of what that is, when you talk about professional football, you have to be great pass protectors, you know, so that we harp on that. You know, and then when that ball is called, you know, we, we expect the individuals to block downfield as they've been doing a great job, you know, and we'll continue to take care of it in every part, also when it comes to pass catching.